Hey everyone, so finally back in town and I'm so excited now to start back working on this car. It's been sitting for too long and I just pretty much want this car up and running and driving. It's, yeah. I've been driving nothing but the slow cars right now. So I'm like, ugh, oh, I need some speed in my life. Hey, get over you, wrong arm! Oi. Oi. So, yeah. So today I'm pretty much going to go ahead and drop the exhaust and loosen the drivetrain, not the drivetrain, the drive shaft from the transmission and take off the connections off the transmission and yeah everything should be almost done at the bottom I think all would be left is just the mounts and stuff like that so pretty much I'm just gonna go through and continue where I left off from the first video so I'm gonna use the video of me dropping the stock exhaust on a donor car so that it's pretty much shows a more concise way of how to drop the exhaust uh, more details and stuff of that nature and also gets me through this whole process right here quickly since if I show you this one it's a lot more it misses a whole lot of more steps since not all the brackets are used and stuff like that so best I just go ahead and use that one so the shift linkage is located on the driver's side of the car so I'm gonna go ahead and use a 13 millimeter and take this bolts off right here first so right here you just gotta just loosen this bolt right here so just loosen it you don't gotta take it fully off all you want to do is just get the tension off of this rod piece right here so now we're just gonna use a 10 millimeter and get these two bolts off right here so with this bolt loosened and this first bolt taken out i could go ahead and just take this piece off right here you just slide it out and then you could go ahead and just use like pivot this down a little bit so you get access to that second um bolt in the back so thinking about it an easier way of doing this i think would be to go ahead and just drop the transmission down a little bit by taking the mount off over here and lower it down on a jack and then it will give me access to these bolts a little bit easier to the side okay so with the shift linkage out i'm gonna go ahead and put the transmission it should be in park right now so if you push it towards the front of the car it should have resistance so what we're gonna do is put it in neutral right now so one back and then pretty much it allows us to go ahead and turn the wheel or turn the drive shaft so that we could go ahead and um get the bolts out so when we want to loosen the bolts just put it back in park by pushing it up and then when you want to turn the drive shaft to get access to the next bolt put it back in neutral and then pretty much repeat because there's three bolts so this is way better than have to have somebody inside the car moving it from park to neutral back and forth so that you could go ahead and get it taken off so the transmission in neutral you can see that we could easily turn the drive shaft with our hand and what we're trying to the bolts we're trying to take off is the ones marked or spray painted in black or whatever covered in black and it's three of them right here so i'm gonna go ahead and take off this transmission support bracket off because with this in the way i can't get access to the back of the drive shaft bolts so yeah so currently i just have uh, my jack over here with a rag on top and i put it underneath the transmission so it's not fully up on there it's just snug enough so that when i take the weight off of this pretty much i take the weight off the bracket right here and then pretty much i'll just let it sit right there and i'll lower it down a bit so i can get access to that to the bolts in the back okay so to take the bracket off it's a 13 millimeter so it's this bolt that bolt over here and two inside here and then two on this side right here so once you get those off then the bracket will just come right off but please make sure to have your transmission supported with at least a jack so to bracket it out the way i could go ahead and put my pliers on the back bolt and then use my 18 millimeter and take this bolt off right here so once that bolt is out then i just pretty much put the transmission back in neutral then turn the drive shaft and then move this over to the move this bolt over to the same spot clamp it back again and then do the same thing repeat and then do it for the next bolt over so there so this is the stopping point for today um we're pretty much 89 percent completed and pretty much going to resume what i started tomorrow so i got some errands to go run so uh like comment subscribe and yeah let me know your thoughts or anything like that all right see you in the next video